Hola bonitas, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me using all new makeup. So let's just go ahead and get into this because I want to transform this face. I also have somewhere to go. I'm meeting up my childhood best friends so we can celebrate some amazing things happening in our lives. Let's go ahead and get started because your girl does not have that much time. Okay, so I already went ahead and did my brows off camera. I honestly feel like I keep my brows pretty consistent. The only thing that has changed is that I feather them now. So I've been obsessed with my NYX Cosmetics brow glue, but recently Benefit Cosmetics launched this um, fluff up brow wax and I really do like it. It's a really nice, waxy consistency and i feel like it gives me that nice feathered effect i personally like this better than their other um 24 hour brow setter i feel like this one is just like really doing the job for me like i love it okay so now we're gonna go ahead and go in moisturizer i actually purchased this while i was in la last month yeah i feel like time is flying um and this is the mac hyper real skin canvas balm this is their new moisturizing cream i was really excited to check out the new mac cosmetics skincare line obviously i purchased the mini because i was traveling so there was no way that i could bring back a actually there was because i did have a um checked in bag but I didn't want to spend that much money, so I just got the mini, and I think the mini was still kind of expensive. I like the consistency. It's a nice moisturizing, like thick consistency, but it like melts into the skin. I will say though, there is a scent to this. So just keep that in mind. You know what? I think I want to go ahead and start off with the eyes because if I start off with the eyes, I can get that quickly out of the way. I go in with this little Milani Gilded Mini Palette. This came in the PR package they sent me a little bit ago and I've been using this a lot. It kind of reminds me of my favorite palette, which is the Makeup by Mario Masters Matte Palette. This palette is like one of my holy grails, one of the palettes I recommend the most. Um, I feel like it's just like a little mini condensed version of it, isn't it? And this is always out of stock and this is $50. This is like $12. I think it's $12, something like that. It's, it's very affordable. So I just been loving this. The last time I traveled, I took this palette and it was like perfection. So I just really been enjoying that. And I, just gonna do like a basic look that I like to do with this palette. Just a little pop of something. I've been really into like that soft glam lately. Something I wanna ask you guys is, have you guys been purchasing palettes like the past year? I feel like palettes were so popular to buy and we wanted like every single palette that came out in like 2015 to like 2019. And then I feel like when the pandemic happened, like we just all kind of stopped really caring for palettes as much. I feel like now people gravitate more towards like the complexion products, like foundations or like blushes. Like I feel like blushes is like all people want to buy right now. Um, so that's kind of what I've seen. I feel like I haven't seen any palettes person that have really caught my eye where I'm like, oh my gosh, I need that palette. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and take another shade and I'm going to just apply that on the lid and i'm going to create like a soft cut crease my best friend recently got engaged we've been friends since we were in middle school like literally like childhood best friends um and it's just so crazy to see like how much changes like i don't know there's something so special about having best friends since you're like kids because you just go down memory lane and you're like wow i can't believe it like we were literally kids and now we're like adults and we're talking about all these incredible things happening in our life like it's just so exciting. There's so many new mascaras, guys. Like, I literally feel like I look up and there's like a new mascara launch. It's insane. Um, I feel like this is the year of mascara. We were in the years of like heavy, bold lashes, like Lily Galici lashes, but like, we are like in the mascara era right now. But I am gonna be taking my lash curler and I'm gonna be curling my lashes. So I got these YSL mascaras. Like I was like, wait, what? YSL wants to send me mascara? And I already tried them out, both of them. They sent me a brown one and a black mascara. I've never tried brown, so I was really excited to try this. I did a TikTok on it. Um, but today I think I'm just gonna stick to the black mascara only because I am wearing a falsy. Since I'm going to dinner, I'm doing like a more glam moment. Like this mascara is really good. It's called the Lash Clash. Yeah, Lash Clash Mascara. It's supposed to provide you a lot of volume and I definitely feel like me da el volume. Like, look at that. 
So now I'm gonna go ahead and take my favorite Kiss Lashes. These are the 11 lashes. And I am going to just apply these like on the outer edges. And you guys are about to see like, it makes them just look very nice and natural. Okay, so we have the lashes on, on the outer corners, which you guys can see. And it just adds a little bit more of a pop, like I said. If I don't want too much of like an intense bold lash, I feel like this is like my favorite thing to go in with. Now we're gonna go with complexion. So I have here this Lawless Set the Stage Hydrating and Soothing Primer Serum. So Lawless sent this over to me and I was really excited to try it out today because the fact that it is hydrating, priming, and soothing, which is definitely something that I need because my skin has been really like irritated lately on the rosacea. This Lawless Primer feels really nice. It definitely soothed my skin and it also was hydrating. It was like a lightweight consistency and I like the fact that it's tacky because it's gonna make the makeup stay on. So this is really nice. I'm gonna keep using it. Now we're gonna go in with a Juvia's Place Eye Magic Radiance Foundation. I have been loving this foundation, like loving it. Loving it so much. It is such a pretty, pretty foundation. So. I am going to apply this on the face. I just love the finish it gives. Like it gives such a beautiful finish. And then I'm just gonna blend everything out. This foundation is honestly one of my favorites so far. Just love the finish. You know what I haven't seen a lot of launches on lately? Concealers. The biggest one I've seen is the one on the Naked Concealer by Urban Decay, the Naked Quickie, the Stay Naked Quickie Concealer by Urban Decay. And I also did a review on that. And honestly, I wasn't the biggest fan of it because of this brush. People rave about this brush, but for some reason for me, it hurts. Like it hurts my under eye. But you know what, I'm gonna use it today. The formula isn't too bad. Let me use it, let me use it. Let me see what, what we got going on here. I'm not using the brush though. That I cannot use. Like the brush is just not for me. If this didn't come with a brush. I wouldn't think it would be as spoken about as spoken about as it is now with the brush because I feel like that's kind of what makes it innovative. Um. So yeah. But like I said, the formula isn't bad, which is why I'm like, let me just use it. I'm talking about it. Let me just use it. And I am going in and setting with my favorite powder i'm using the elf halo glow let's just dust away this powder shall we okay now we're gonna take the new milk makeup contour sticks these are actually the sculpt stick but it's a contour stick they came out with some new shades and i'm gonna use this to contour my nose because it's a really good like cool tone color warm tone is more so for bronzing and kind of like warming up the face so i'm taking another one of the milk makeup sculpt sticks well no this one isn't sculpt this is the bronzer stick and we are just going to do a little bit of bronzing so these are the bronzing sticks and these are the sculpting stick these are the new ones this is a really good formula like it's super creamy it's super blendable like you guys can see like it just blends so easily And it gives a really good natural look. It doesn't look super intense and like overdone. Cause I know sometimes some people don't want like a super intense bronzer or super intense contour. They just want things that are gonna blend easily into the skin and almost become one. And I think that this definitely does that. And then I'm just going to blend contour out. It just gives like a softer look, I feel like. Okay, so now we're gonna go in and we are going to do a little bit of some blush. I'm taking the new one size blush. This is the Cheek Clapper 3D Blush Trio. I really have been loving this. I purchased this a few weeks ago. Well, like two weeks ago maybe? Yeah, I think it was like two weeks ago now. And um, I went into the Sephora not expecting to buy this. I went for a completely different product and they had it and I was like, wait, like I need to get it because it sold out everywhere. So I was shocked that they had, they had like two, they had two or three and I was like, I'm buying this. Um, and I'm so happy I was able to find it because I was like, this is really good. Now I have used this already 
a little bit of this goes a long way. So you get three different formulas. You get a cream, a powder, and a almost like highlighter color. And go very, very light with the cream. Now this is a very cool tone, like pastel cream blush. It's definitely not for everybody, which you guys can see on me. It's leaning more so of like that like pale pink. So that's why I only go in with a little bit. The first time that I used it, I went in with a lot and I was like, whoa. I'm just gonna take the blush the powder brush and this powder blush is definitely a little bit more brighter and more flattering i feel like on my skin tone than the first one the first one's a little bit too cool that's what i say like definitely not going to be for everybody but these do come in many different beautiful shades so you're not just limited to this one I'll probably take a fluffier brush to kind of just dust that like highlighter -y pink shade all over like this. This is like a nice, really big fluffy brush to just kind of dust everything out and bam. It's a very beautiful trio. Like I love the fact that you get three different products in here. And I want to say that this was like 30 something dollars. So I think for three different blush formulas, it's excellent. All the new blushes that have come out at Sephora, my favorite formulas are this one right here. And I've also been loving the Danessa Myricks blush bombs. These are amazing. Like they're so good. I did see um, House Labs release some blushes and they look very beautiful, but I just cannot justify buying another blush, especially because I feel like it, a lot of the colors are similar to what I already have. I've heard great things about them and who knows, maybe like in a week I'll wake up and I'll be like, wait, I need those blushes. But as of right now, I'm like, okay, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. What other new products do I have here that I want to talk about? Oh, okay. I want to talk about this product right here. So I purchased this Kosa's vitamin infused skin enhancer, right? And you guys know every, not every brand, but a lot of brands have been launching skin enhancers ever since the Charlotte Tilbury one. And I personally feel like this one is way too glittery. Like to mix in with foundation or word on the bare skin, it's too much for me. I really like the one by e.l.f., the Halo Glow. That one's lovely. Um, I feel like it's not too, too shimmery. This one, I can literally see the sparkle. So the way that I like to apply this one, since I'm like, okay, now I need to get my money's worth, is I just take like a little bit and I do a little bit of like a highlight right here. And then I kind of just blend it in. Cause do you guys see like, it's literally like a highlighter. If you don't like a lot of like glittery going on, a lot of glittery going on. If you don't like a lot of like shimmer on your skin, I would definitely say just use it like as a highlighter if you do want to get it. If you're going into this expecting like a very beautiful, like youthful glow, it's going to give you like glitter. Okay. So for the lips, what do I want to do? Ooh, I know what I'm going to do. So when I was in Minneapolis visiting my best friend, we went to the Mall of America and I went to Sephora there and I got this one size lip liner. They had a bunch and they're actually very affordable. They're $14. I think that's pretty affordable for Sephora. Um, so I was like, I need to get one. I tried this one out already. This one is in the shade of Rent Dew. It's a nice brown lip liner. Like, look at the pigment on this. Like the pigment is stunning. Highly recommend these one size lip liners. Um, and then I also purchased the new Hourglass. I think these are like glossy bombs. I don't know, there's something glossy. These have been like viral. Um, this one is in the shade Trace. I know the like berry shade has been the viral one. That one was sold out of course, so I couldn't get my hands on it, but I got this shade and I actually love it. Like, look at that. It's so glossy, it's so beautiful. Like, excuse me? Oh, I am so excited for dinner. I'm starving. I'm so hungry. Lunch, I had caldo de verduras, which is like vegetable soup with chicken, but lunch was quite a bit ago, so I am ready for dinner. I'm ready for some Indian food. Okay, so I am quickly going to change, and I'm gonna come back to do the very last step I like to do right before I head out, which is powder my face with pressed powder which I have a new one right here, Reina Rebelde. So I'll be right back to powder the face and then we can get going because no quiero estar tarde. I quickly just changed my outfit. I put on some nice hoop earrings to add a little 
spice. Um, and we are just gonna go ahead and quickly set the face with the Reina Rebelde finishing powder. This is called the On Your Face Finishing Powder in the shade Almendra. And this recently came out, and let me just tell you, it is beautiful. I am somebody that with oily skin, I love to do the loose powder setting my face and then going in with a spray and then finishing it off once I'm about to head out the door with a press powder just to really give me that flawless look. And this really does that for me. Like it literally makes my face look so nice, matte and flawless. This is great and it's very comparable to some of those high end finishing powders. So yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna take this with me with my puff y vamonos. Oh, real quick, I'm gonna do a little bit perfumito perfume. I'm almost done with this one. I purchased this, I wanna say at the end of January and it was like my love season scent it's like a nice sweet scent it's the new ariana grande perfume in mod vanilla they also have the mod one which is more of like a floral everybody loves that one i gravitate to those scents but i wanted something a little bit sweeter for like this time of the year so i went with this one i'm literally almost done. i've been using it non-stop since i purchased it so i love this i love a good fragrance that's pretty much the look guys thank you so much for sitting down with me today and watching me do this get ready with me using new makeup i am heading out right now because my friends are there it's 7 17 we're supposed to meet at 7 but luckily all of us are a little late so yeah i'm gonna head out thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed watching this get ready with me please give this video a big thumbs up it lets me to continue doing more of these videos for you guys thank you guys again so much for watching i hope you guys have a fabulous day don't forget to stay safe stay blessed and stay beautiful and i'll be seeing you guys very soon